Hi there. This video is going to focus on using the editable notation in Ban in a Box. The first thing we're going to do is click on the notation window. This is opens up our notation window in regular notation mode. And if we wanted to make edits to the notation, we're going to need to click on editable notation mode, which is right here. So you see, notice the dotted lines. When you see dotted lines, you know you're allowed to edit the notation. The dotted lines are grouped into four groups of four, with each line representing a sixteenth note. Now when inserting a note, you place your mouse over the, on the beat you would like and left click once. If you place the note incorrectly, you can left click on the head of the note and drag up and down or left and right. You'll notice that after I inserted the note, it changed the value of the note above. Let's say I still wanted this note, a C, to last for the dotted quarter note. For this, I'm going to have to go into the staff roll mode by clicking on this button here. In the staff roll mode, you can see the duration of the note indicated by the horizontal blue line and the velocity indicated by the vertical blue line. So you notice that the note I inserted below has caused the note above to only last for an eighth note, but I want to extend the value of the note to the end of the third beat of the bar. So what I do is right click on the head of the note once and hold, and then I drag horizontally until I reach the end of the third beat, and then I release. So that has extended the duration of this note. If I wanted to decrease the velocity of the note, I again click on the head of the note, right clicking and holding down. Then I can go up, I can decrease the velocity. I can also increase the velocity again if I'd like. Now let's listen. Now you see that the notation window allows you to edit notes of a melody, allowing you more creative control over your finished band-in-a-box song.